Hey, what is up everybody? Josh Quinones here, and in today's video, I'm going to be spending a day with a $230 budget phone, the new Mobile G3 Plus. Now, I'm so used to using my Note 9 every single day for everything, so I feel like it might be a little bit of a challenge using this device, but I thought I'd put myself up to the challenge and see what it's like using a budget phone for a full day, getting done whatever it is I need to get done. Now, I have already kind of started my day. I am here at a tire place right now, waiting to get my tire repaired and I figured this is a good time to maybe check my Twitter feed maybe play some games the battery is currently at 100% as you can see right there 100% and you can also see the 4G LTE logo at the top as well I did put my sim card in this phone this morning so like I said I'm going to be using it for everything and updating you guys throughout the day with what I'm doing what my usage is what the screen on time is and how the battery is doing this does have a 4000 milliamp battery and I am currently getting a call right now. So let me answer this call and I will be right back. All right, so I just got off the phone right now and I can say that call quality is acceptable. It's actually pretty good. It's not that bad. And the speaker actually got pretty loud, so I was able to hear them on the other end pretty clear. Now I gotta mention real quick, aside from the top and the bottom bezels on this device, if you turn it around to the back, I still can't get over how beautiful this phone is. For 230 bucks, you, you look at the back of this phone, it does not look like a budget device. I mean, look at the way this phone shines in the sun. I mean, look at this, it is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the way it shines. I cannot get over how good the back of this phone looks. So I'm going to go ahead and head back inside, get some gaming done, maybe check my Twitter feed, my social media, stuff like that. Get some stuff done and try to drain a little bit of this battery. I did throw the case on it, the case that comes in the box with the phone. I threw it on there because I'm just kind of scared I might drop it and break it. It is a bit slippery and a fingerprint magnet as well. As you can see how shiny it is, you, it still does get a lot of fingerprints on it. So I do have a clear case on it. You can still see the beauty of it in the back. But like I said, I'm going to head back inside, get some stuff done on this device, and then I will update you guys later. All right, so I am back in the car. The car is all finished. And during the time I was waiting, I was able to do things like check my Twitter, my Snapchat, check a little bit of news. And I even did a little bit of gaming. I was even able to check out that new Brawl Stars game, which I actually thought was pretty cool. I can't wait to try it out some more, but I am currently at 89% battery life on the phone right now. It says the screen usage since full charge is at 44 minutes, and since the last full charge, it has been one hour and 47 minutes. So 11% battery for the amount of stuff that I got done. It's really not that bad, but of course, we're going to have to use it for the entire day to see how long the battery will actually last. I'm hoping it will get me through the day. Now, I also want to talk about the usage of the device as well. As far as swiping uh, between screens, going in and out of apps, just the whole usage of it. Now, it's not going to be the snappiest of devices. This is a budget phone. It's not going to perform like the major flagships out there, but for 230 bucks, it does perform well. It does stutter here and there just a little bit in certain apps. Like when I was checking my Twitter feed, it, when I would scroll down or scroll up, it would stutter just a little bit here and there, but I was still able to get done what I needed to get done. I was still able to to do what I wanted to do at just a bit of a slower rate than I would on something like my Galaxy Note 9. But so far for $230, I am pretty impressed. Gaming as well, it's not going to be the smoothest, smoothest out of other flagship devices you can get out there, but this is not a flagship device. So you can game on here pretty comfortably. I was able to game without any problem. So, so far I'm pretty impressed, but like I said, I'm gonna use it for the rest of the day and I'll update you guys a bit later. All right, you guys, so some time has passed. I'm here back at home, just kicking back, using the device a little bit more. And I gotta say, I am starting to feel the difference using a budget device coming from a high-end device like the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 that I got. And yeah, I am starting to feel that. Now, it's not bad performance. I really wouldn't consider it bad performance. You can just tell the difference for a $230 phone. It does work a little bit slower. It does lag a little bit here and there, but you can expect that in a budget device. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to bash it. It is still good for the budget device that it is. For $230, it's still good performance for the price that you're paying for this device. So in that point, I can't really complain, but what I'm trying to say is, I'm not used to, I'm not used to using a budget device like this all day to get everything done that I need to get done. And I notice it's still doing the same thing that I mentioned earlier when I was scrolling through Twitter it still kind of stutters a little bit whether I'm scrolling up or scrolling down, check it out. So let me go into Twitter 
And if you see here, I don't know if you can notice it, but it, it just kind of lags a little bit. Like it kind of stops and goes, stops and goes really quick. And I guess you can expect that in a budget device. I mean, you can still scroll through the feed, see what's going on. I mean, you're still going to be able to do what you need to do. But as far as having that smoothness when scrolling, you're just not going to get it. But overall, it's still working good. Still getting me through my day so far. The battery is at 79%. Let me go into the battery settings here. So 79%, we got one hour and 27 minutes of screen on time since the last full charge um since the last full charge it has been four hours and 41 minutes so yeah 79 percent we've used 21 percent so far it says about 14 hours left of battery life now i don't know if that means if i just don't use a phone or if i continue using it the way i am now i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see uh how much longer the battery will last on this device and how the performance goes for me for the rest of the day but so far like i said for 230 bucks still not that bad i'm not complaining at all i'm just not used to it but again i will update you guys a bit later we're gonna go ahead and take some pictures with this device later as well take some video test it out and see if it satisfies me enough to think maybe i can get through every day with a camera like the one on this device but i will catch up with you guys in a bit all right, you guys, so I am just finishing up a short walk here that I took, and I do have the device with me because I was going to use this to listen to music. I brought my headphones, but I forgot the dongle, and this does not have a headphone jack, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to use my headphones. So I still stuck with just listening to the music out of the speaker that comes on the device, and I gotta tell you guys, I gotta be honest, it is not the best listening experience at all. Even when I was watching YouTube videos a little while ago before I took my walk, the listening experience with the speaker on this device is just it's not that good i gotta be honest with you i mean yeah you can hear what's going on but it's only one speaker and it can easily be covered because it's on the bottom let me give you guys a little sample right here all right so i'll go ahead and just play my most recent video here the one where i'm actually unboxing this device and i do have the volume all the way up i believe hey what is up everybody Josh yes volume is all the way up we are going to be unboxing and taking our first look at the new mobile G3 Plus in their new black onyx color. Now this is a budget device that you can get for around 230 bucks on Amazon. And I will throw that link down in the description below. Go ahead and play some music here for you guys as well. <laughs> So as you can see, it does get kind of loud, but when I do turn the volume all the way up, it can get a bit distorted and it really doesn't sound the cleanest compared to other devices out there right now. And also with the speaker being just on the bottom, if you're gonna hold the phone like this, it can easily get covered, which I found myself doing earlier when I was watching YouTube videos. But anyway, so if you do find yourself interested in this device, if you do plan on getting it, I would recommend using a pair of headphones when you are watching videos or listening to music. Like I said, the speaker does get loud, but once you turn the volume all the way up, it could be a bit distorted and just not the cleanest. But again, this is a budget device, so you really can't expect the most top of the line specs. So far, my thoughts, I think, it might be a pretty good deal for 230 bucks but hey i figure since we're outside right now let's take a couple pictures while the sun is still out all right so i'm gonna try to get a picture of the sunset right here let's see how it comes out in three two one all right let's see how did that come out and it doesn't actually doesn't look that bad i'm gonna go ahead and post the picture right here so you guys can see it and quality is actually not that bad for a budget device let's go ahead and take one more picture right here see if we can get a nice clear shot of this fire hydrant in three two one bah. all right let's go ahead and take a look at it and actually it's not that bad i mean it's not the best but for a budget device it is pretty decent and it's definitely going to catch some shots that you would want it to catch all right so i'm going to go ahead and try out some video here for you guys and actually play that video right now so this is the video being taken on the new mobile g3 plus as you can see i got my note 9 in hand that i've been using to record this entire video so you guys can know i'm actually 
using the new Mobile G3 Plus 2 to record this video. You guys can also get an idea of what the sound quality is going to be like when recording as well. But this is the rear camera. I am recording in 1080p. Now let me go ahead and switch over to the front facing camera so we can see how well that does. All right, you guys, so this is video on the front facing camera of the new Mobile G3 Plus. I do like that it's wide angle. It does have a nice wide angle to it. It doesn't crop like other cameras do when recording with any type of the front facing or the back camera. As you can see, it's still got the Note 9 in hand. So yes, I am recording with the G3 Plus. Check out the quality, check out the sound quality that it's picking up. And I will let you guys be the judge. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Now, one thing I did forget to do was take a selfie with the front-facing camera. So let me go ahead and do that. I, I, honestly, I'm not a selfie type of guy. I hate taking selfies, but let me see what I can do. All right, so I took my selfie. Let's see what it looks like. And uh, it's, it's not that bad. I mean, it definitely looks a lot better than I thought it was going to look. Let's put it that way. But like I said, I'll let you guys be the judge of what you think of the picture quality, the video quality, and the sound quality that it does pick up. Let me know down in the comments sections below. But for now, I'm about to head back inside. Sun's starting to go down and I got some other things I got to take care of. So I will catch up with you guys later. All right. So the end of the day has come. It is a lot later. And I got to say, I am really, really impressed with the 4,000 milliamp battery on this phone. It's already super late at night and it's still Still got some juice to go it's at 26 percent battery life right now and the screen on time is five hours and 25 minutes now if i didn't know any better i'd say that's a flagship performing battery right there so i am definitely impressed with that because i was able to make it through my whole day now using this device throughout the day was definitely a change coming from my high-end flagship device but i was still able to do everything that i usually do the experience was just a bit slow than what I'm used to every day and the speakers and camera were definitely a change as well but overall I definitely did not suffer this is an absolute beautiful device and for 230 bucks I think you're getting a great phone for the money but I will leave a link down in the description below in case you do find yourself interested in this device I think it's a great phone for those that don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on high-end devices but still want a device Device that looks good and performs well I think this might be the one for you but you guys let me know what you think down in the comment sections below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications if you have not done so already so you don't miss out on any future videos to come thank you guys so much for watching this is Josh Quinones and I will see you on the next one peace out